Welcome back. We're on this uh, somewhat strange island. And here at the top we have found uh, what appears to be some kind of control panel. We also see these weird uh, not quite Tetris shapes that we've seen before. They must have some kind of significance, but it is not entirely obvious what. Such a weird island, this, with the... Like the, the clearer water up here, and then the more dark blue water with a bunch of algae or something in it down below, and those weird rocks sticking out. All the tusks, I'm assuming, is not a natural occurrence. Actually, this whole part looks like it might be artificial. Seems likely. And then we have the giant basin in the back, where we found our friend, the giant fish. And a huge dagger is sticking out here. Anyway. If we look at this, we find the same shapes that we see in front of us here. And we can move them around on these little tracks, so we can't go diagonal. We can only go up and down and side to side. So there seems to be some kind of sliding puzzle. I'm assuming they all need to be inside that middle bit that has the holes behind it for some reason. Um, there may be more than one way of doing that, but I'm also kind of expecting that it's going to have to be this layout. So with the small one in the top right, and then this one needs to go over here somewhere. The square is already in the top left, and then... The Tetris L piece needs to be in the bottom left, and then that's already in the right spot as well. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Can move that over there pretty easily. I mean, I'm, I think that's where it's supposed to be. It might be in the way there, so I might end up having to move it. This is a bigger problem, though, because that's not going to fit in between there. So even though the square is already in the right spot, on the right side of the board, we may have to move that out of the way. Hmm. You also need to go all the way up, so... I guess we can move the square down, and that left, that gives us some more space here. Yeah, can move that to the right. And then... You can go there? That puts an L in the right spot, and then... Let's see, we need him up there. Hmm. That's not gonna help. We need... I think we may actually have to move the square all the way around to make this work. Because now we have the ability to keep the square on the correct side of this piece. We're all moving it back over here. And you can go out of the way there. And there, they're all in their correct relative spots. We just need to move them all in here. Oh, 
Well, it did something. It revealed some, uh... Tiny... Marbles or something? Orbs? Um... On the grid? Hmm, I have a feeling that's important. And so we should probably take a screenshot of that. Um... You can actually also click on them. Which makes this move... Huh. Wait a second. These are the islands. Yeah, that makes it really pretty uh, straightforward. So this has to be Boiler Island, or Crater Island. The one where Gen's lab is. That's the one with the big a dome on it. Temple Island. This is where we saw the big tree. And also... Um, spoke to Catherine. Prison Island. And this is the village with the big lake in the middle. Um, okay, the game was acting like I could. Like, I could click on something there, but I can't really. Um, yeah, that's Village Island, and this is the island where... we are right now. So, those shapes we've been seeing actually represent the islands. This little 5x5 five five grid is a stylized version of a map of... Riven. And down below we can see kind of how that works, how those islands are mapped into that grid. Obviously they're not this close together. Interesting that they kind of all fit together. Am I hearing that fish thing? Or am I imagining thing? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Um, Pretty cool. Of course, in the original version, uh, this was water, and the uh, the water would bulge up to sort of vaguely form the shapes of the island, and instead, you had these, like, uh, like pin-based reliefs um, in the structure behind where we are right now. Never thought those water they, uh, things, they looked really cool, but I never thought they made that much sense. It seems like unlikely that you could um, like heat the water so precisely that you would get those shapes in any kind of recognizable form. So this makes a little bit more sense. On the whole, though, I think this is the weakest change in the remake. The the puzzle that this is associated with did need some streamlining. Um, I'm I'm not in disagreement with that, but I think this is a little bit too far. And I wonder if there was more planned here, because the art book um, that you can get with the game shows an image of this island, Survey Island. Uh, with a structure on the side that is labeled in the art book as, like, Gen's Hidden Foundry. So I wonder if more was planned for this island and they um, ran out of time or resources or something. And went with this rather simplistic solution. Can we lower them again? Yes, we can. Not really any points to that. I wonder if there's any significance to where these little uh, marbles are 
in relation to the rest of the island. Well, we are currently on this island, so this marble indicates something over here. Which would be behind us and to the left, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing some animal. Wondering if we can see it again. Looks like it might be the spot where the uh, rotating dome is. Certainly interesting. They do kind of look like domes. The little uh, buttons on the grid. So that could be it. Let's see. Um, for Village Island, it's a or Jungle Island, it's a little harder to tell. So over here, which does looks like it's in the jungle, and we know that Rotating Dome is in the jungle, but it's still kind of harder to tell. Um, yeah, for <laughs> Prison Island, it's, uh, doesn't really make any difference because there's only one grid position anyway. For Temple Island, it would be in the back here. Yeah, that is where, where the rotating dome is. And, um, yeah, for Crater Island, I really have no idea. I would need to be able to tell which side Gen's lab is on, which I can't from this, uh, this model. But that seems like a, a good hypothesis that maybe those indicate the locations of the domes. Um, one thing that seems pretty obvious is that what we just saw over there is most likely the combination for this here. That's, that's just great security. It's like Here's my keypad. My combination is like five meters away. It's like, you know, it's like they always say about good security. Never write down your passwords, but do leave very obvious hints within walking distance of where they're used. I might have made that last part up. Um... Okay, let's see. So we have one in the top left, I think. And these two here, and these two. Oh, that did accomplish something. Elevator's moving. Um, oh, okay. Where are we going? Okay, we're underneath the island somewhere, in what looks to be a very big cave. Looks like it's mostly a natural cave. Though somebody built this wall over here, which is where the elevator is. Presumably again and his followers. This is an awesome space in VR as well. Just really big spaces tend to look really cool. And this one definitely does. There's a staircase leading up here. And a window into the water. If I had to guess, I would say this probably looks into the basin that's accessible from the top, rather than in the open ocean. That would make sense with where we were and where we went. Some changes here were kind of inevitable because uh, I think the original game cheats a lot with the geography of this island. 
where things are don't really make sense in relation to each other. Um, let's see though, we have these weird contraptions and what look like two levers. So let's try one. Hey! It's Catherine. Looks like this is a camera looking out into her cell on uh, on Prison Island. This moment is robbed of its uh, importance a little bit because, well, you, as we actually did, you already would have seen Catherine just pacing around, waiting for us to. Uh, to help her, I guess, or maybe for some sign from the moiety. Um, this turns, doesn't need to do anything. Don't worry, we're working on it. And these seem to be buttons. Oh, hey, it's the, the cage we were trapped in in the beginning. And Sho is back. Um, at his spot. Assuming it's the same guy. And he walked away. Ah, he's coming back. He's just kind of pacing back and forth. This must be a really boring job, considering the, there's only two people in the last 30 years who actually linked in here. Catherine and us. Interesting that he's there, though. We didn't see him again. So... Either, um... They're deliberately hiding from us. Which kind of goes with the whole... He's watching you thing that, uh... Catherine was saying. I know he does something. I'm kind of waiting for it. Yeah, there he goes. He is relieving. Reliving. He's reliving getting the book from us. Um, that was a not so subtle split point in the video. But yeah, poor guy probably has PTSD from being taken out like that. Does this do anything now? No. Let's see. Oh, that was the that's the prison cam. Oh, hey, it's the camera in the village. The one that was following us when we were there. So at that time either Gen or one of his uh, followers was here. Interesting, there's like steam coming from the water there. The looks like the hole for the submarine is is there. Nothing to see here though, as you might expect if you know the uh, original game, but we've already seen that that puzzle is very different. Hey, that's here. That's on top of the wall with the dagger looking out on Survey Island. Not really any earth shattering revelations to be glanced from here either. camera on Boiler Island by the look of it. So yeah. Again, can use this place to keep an eye on pretty much everything. And he probably has been. Well, there's, that's the the minecart track. Can't really see the track on this image. 
but those are the pillars it's resting on. And what remains of the bridge that we collapsed. Presumably the bridge has to be visible here if you don't collapse it. Which you don't have to do, it's entirely optional. And that brings us full circle back to Cho. Interesting. What's the other side? More cameras? Um, yes. Buttons are different, though. They seem to have the symbols we've been seeing on them. For uh, the various domes, this one in the bottom here is the uh, the prison island one. If we click it, a light turns on. Where is that? It kind of looks underwater, but I'm not sure. Looks like this still rotates the camera. Definitely looks like this is underwater. Hey. Um. Can I see myself? What happens if I turn this one on? Uh, it's the one here. Okay. He doesn't seem very happy that we turned this light on. Yeah. They look so much more intimidating in VR just because you can see how big they are. I can understand why the villagers fear these uh, creatures. And the subtitles gave away what they, they are called. It's a wark. Sort of a combination of whale and shark, I guess. I wonder if he shows up again. Turn it off. Oh, yep. Almost seems like he's expecting something when this light turns on and is disappointed that it isn't happening. Try it again. He's like, what do you want? Is irritating a gigantic aquatic beast a good idea? I guess we'll find out. He's getting fed up with us. He's not even coming over anymore. Still, we must persevere. Is that it? Is he done with us? Uh, 
Okay. We really pissed him off now. Thank God that glass held. That could have ended very badly. Can you see the crack in here? No, not really. Okay, looks like uh, he hurt himself doing that and is now thoroughly done with my shenanigans. Interesting that the Bork would react to this light, though. It didn't react to the other light we turned on, even though they are pretty clearly all in the same basin. Maybe it's because this one was red and the other one was blue? Maybe. Wonder if the symbols relate to that somehow. Might not be a bad idea to take some screenshots here. So that would make this one red, and actually this symbol is the is uh, one we haven't seen on a dome before yet. But if we take a look at our notebook. It's this one. It seems to be the one facing um, Jungle Island, which is also the only dome we haven't seen up close yet, so that makes sense. Uh, let's check the other ones, just in case. Oh. This one's not working. Okay, that's helpful. It's, uh, this is Boiler Island. Then we have this one, which is Prison Island, which is blue. We already determined that, but didn't take a picture of it yet. Lights turn off when you move the camera. Temple Island seems to be green for this symbol. And um, this symbol doesn't look familiar at all. No, that is not one of the five symbols. Hmm. It's interesting that uh, Gen spoke in his journal about the importance of five and his confusion that the Dunny collar symbology was based on six symbols. So, maybe these are those symbols. This one's yellow, even though we haven't seen it. We will still make a note of it. That's orange, I guess? I think there is an option to turn on subtitles for these types of clues. So, even if you're colorblind, you can still... Uh, finish the uh, puzzle. And then we're back to the red one. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. And now we have a pointless screenshot. Our friendly neighborhood Wark does not seem to react to any light other than the red one. I wonder if that's because we pissed him off, or because he only wants to react to the red one. Maybe he's been trained to only react to the red one. We know he didn't react to blue even before we uh, annoyed him, so... Wonder what that's about, though. Something to contemplate. 
Maybe I should take another look at uh, the top of this basin. Try and figure that out. now? Oh, here. Okay. Um, I want to go back to the top. Interesting that the elevator actually took us backwards towards, like, somewhere over here underground, presumably. So this basin is bigger than we can see at the surface here. Hmm. We have, uh, four totems here, and two broken ones. Oh, he's definitely not happy with us now. I have a feeling that maybe the intention here is that each light corresponds to one of the totems. And that the lights were used to call them when somebody was chained up to those totems and ready to be fed to the warks. Maybe each, maybe there were more than one wark and each one had its own totem, which would explain both why this orc only reacted to the one color light, which would have been the totem over here somewhere, and also was so pissed off when we uh, didn't have any food for him, but still kept calling him. Assuming that this would have been the totem corresponding to this side, maybe. And then there's another totem there that might end up being our broken light, then. Um, there's a ca yeah, the camera here somewhere, yeah? There is! I wonder if that corresponds to the direction I left it on. I should have checked. I forgot to do that, however. We can see that we left the uh, the island reliefs, whatever you want to call these, up. Looks pretty cool. Um, we saw when we came in. Uh, on the maglev on this island, that there was another door on the other side of the maglev. So, since there doesn't seem to be anywhere else we can go from here... We should probably check that out. To get there, looks like we'll have to turn the Mac left around. And in the original game, this was the only place where you could do that. Now we can do it at every Mac left stop, but uh, it's the only one where it has had a purpose so far anyway.
Hey, that's the hole that we could look down th through from below. And water? Looks like there might be some lava or something down there. It looks hot. We already saw a lava pool in... Uh, Uh, in Jungle Island. This one seems to be underwater. Oh, there's a lever there. Did that do anything? Oh. Yeah. Chains are moving. And something's coming up. It's the infamous Golden Elevator. Gens Crest at the top there. Where does that take us? I am hoping this is uh, watertight. And that the water wasn't a more recent addition. Doesn't look wet in here, so I guess we're good. Um, let the water go. Well, again, I guess you win the most ridiculously over, overly elaborate elevator competition. Aetris gets close with the one in Tamana and Miss Four. But this one, just because of the sheer unnecessary ornamentation and also still rotates, I think it takes the case. It takes, it takes the cake. Oh, wow, the water's above us here. It must be very hot here for the uh, water to be that high above the lava. That lava is known for being hot. You learn all kinds of stuff watching my videos. The lava is hot. More news at 11. And much like when I recorded my original Let's Play, it is also quite hot in this room where I'm recording it. This time not because I can't have the AC on while recording, which I couldn't because of noise being picked up by my microphone, but because I'm upstairs and we only we have whole house AC without zones, and it's we can choose. Either it's freezing cold downstairs or kind of hot upstairs. Um, why do I have to record Riven Let's Plays in July? I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Before we cook. Oh, someone's coming. And I don't think he wants to talk to us. Let's follow him. And he's leaving. Okay then. Not very friendly, is he? Um, this person, often called Gens Scribe, is I think also the same person who is leaving in the maglev at the beginning of the game from uh, Temple Island. You can just barely see the white robes when you. Uh, Zoom in on the MacLev before it leaves. Anything else here? Does 
doesn't look like it. He must have just been arriving here, maybe on his way to... Uh, he could be heading back to... Um, Boiler Island, I guess, if he went, went and take, took the other maglev, or maybe he was going to the... the spy camera room to spy on us for again. Looks like we scared him away, though. <laughs> I just really like the, the blue landing lights. Such a simple thing, but it brings me joy. Well, it looks like he got out of the nightclub before we called it. And I have a feeling he's not going to be hanging around. Um, on the other side, either. Let's see where this one goes. Looks like... Back to Jungle Island, maybe? Wait, can we get out on this side here? Yes, we can. Really no point to that. Also, if at this moment somebody on the other side were to call the maglev, then our only way across is to take a swim. So, let's not risk that. Let's go! I'm guessing there must be heat underneath those fissures in the water we see in the sea as well. Presumably more lava flows escaping there. Would also explain the steam that we see coming from those vents, so that's what I'm going with. It kind of looks like there's something on the other side here could see it when we were coming in. There's a little bit of light coming from there. And there's a call button on both sides. Just like on... Temple Island. So that warrants some further uh, investigation. I guess we'll check... Up here first. Over here. But we'll do that in the next video.